Good morning. I'm up bright and early this morning because today is an exciting day because I get to fly to work. Any day you get to fly to work is a great day in my mind. Um, so today we've got a job with my other company, Drone Boy. Uh, we do drone work, obviously. Today we're in Ottawa doing a, a corporate job. Um, that's going to be pretty exciting. Matt will give you the brief on that shortly. He'll tell you all about it. Um, so I love flying to work because if we had to drive to Ottawa today to do this job, it would be over six hours each way just to get there. We'd have to drive through Toronto traffic. Um, by the time we got there, we'd be a little bit beat up. By the time we got home, well, we, we really couldn't do it in one day. The only way we can do a job like this, it's not a very big job, we'll be there for a couple of hours actually doing the work. The only way we can do a, a job like that in one day is with an airplane. We basically fold space and time with an aircraft and it works out great for us. Uh, especially something like this. Our base is here in Brantford, Ontario. We're going to Ottawa today. It's about an hour and a half flight. That would be easily six hour drive. Today's a great example of a, of a prime opportunity to fly to work because this job fits well within our operational radius of the Skymaster 337. Um, we like to fly no more than four or five hours to work. So that puts us in a circle around our base here in Brantford. Basically, we can get to the Maritimes, we can get to Winnipeg, Manito uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, we can get up north. That's a, that's a comfortable range for us to go. We can do a five hour flight without stopping if we need to, if, we're, if we don't drink a lot before we go. Um, so today is great. Today's an hour and a half flight. We'll be there. We'll be get, get the job done before noon and then we'll be back again. I mean, we can actually do some stuff this afternoon. I've got a birthday party to go to this afternoon. We couldn't do that if we were driving. So yeah, it's going to be an awesome day. Simple drone job. We've got a little bit of uh, ground fog to deal with this morning. So we've had to file IFR out of Brantford. Um, chances are we'll file IFR as soon as we punch up through it. We'll cancel our IFR. I mean, it may even blow off before we get, before we do our run up and get airborne. If that's the case, then we won't even go IFR, but it's always good to have that in our back pocket. Um, we've got a rental car booked in Ottawa, so that'll be our ground transportation at that end. And yeah, we're looking forward to a, to a great, great day out. Hey everybody, Matt here. So as Tom said, we're flying to Ottawa today. We're doing a corporate video shoot. It's basically a drone gig. Uh, our client is actually the uh, township of Russell, just located slightly southeast of Ottawa. Uh, what we're gonna be shooting is an industrial park. Now, this area of the, the township of Russell has really grown a lot in the last couple of years, and our client is actually going to um, Ontario Eastern Municipalities Conference, and she was looking to have like a great updated video showing the progression over the last couple of years of how much the industrial park has advanced and how many businesses have moved in there. So we're going to be flying into McDonald Cartier uh, Airport in Ottawa. We're going to pick up a rental car, drive 20 minutes southeast to the gig, put the drone up for a couple hours, get some great visuals, some great photos, maybe some ground photos, pack up in the rental car, head home. And so what I'll show you right now is basically just some, some uh, give you an idea of what our, uh, our mission is here. So you can see here we've got Ottawa International Airport, McDonald Cartier right there. About 20 minutes to kind of the southeast is the industrial park right off the 417. And then here's the town of Russell and Embrun. We're going to make a quick couple quick stops there and grab some, grab some aerial photos as well. Um, this is the rough uh, drawing of the industrial, or this is a rough capture of the industrial park. And then right over here on the left uh, to the west is there all their expansion lands. Um, so basically like this middle bit right in the, the center here, that's basically where the bulk of the development is happening right now. So we're gonna shoot that and then compare it with what was captured last year and also by another colleague of ours probably about five years ago. So we're gonna kind of create a, a great, uh, progression showing how the industrial park has grown over the last few years. And then of course we'll stop off and rustle and Embrun quickly and grab some quick photos because honestly I spent some time last year in the town and it's a wonderful place to visit. So yeah. So as Matt was saying, it's a wonderful place to visit if you're visiting with an airplane. If we had to drive there, this would be a sucky place to visit because it'd be a long drive. We'd yeah. be all sweaty. It's a hot day. It'd be terrible. We're flying there. So that makes it exciting. And, and like, if you really talk about like what the value, like what value you place on your time, right? And not to mention, like a hotel room is at least three hundred bucks a night nowadays. In now, yeah. cost cost of fuel in your car, and eating crappy not, food. And it's and it's and it's twelve twelve hours of your life that's just spent in a car, right? So, so let's know. spend three hours of our life in an airplane. Exactly. Let's go. So let's, let's hit the road. <laughs> oh, we got fog still. Looks like we got to go IFR. Oh well. 
I need the practice. <laughs> Bradford Traffic, Skymaster Golf, Romeo Bravo. Romeo's lining up runway uh, 05 for an IFR departure to the uh, east, climbing 4,000 feet. Bradford Traffic, Golf, Romeo Bravo. Romeo just departed 05 uh, airborne, uh, heading to the uh, east, climbing 4,000 feet. Uh, City Tower, Golf, Romeo Bravo. Romeo uh, with request. Romeo Bravo, Romeo Tower. Uh, we're just wondering if it's possible to do one uh, quick orbit at 2,000 feet around downtown. And what we'd love to do is is circle the CN Tower if we can, like on the north side, and then circle around, t keeping it tight to the to the waterfront on the south side, and then one orbit, and then head on our way. Romeo Bravo, Romeo, once you're over the downtown street, the north of the airport. Bravo Romeo, the wing 1902, clear to land runway 32. Clear to land 32, Romeo Bravo Romeo. Drunk ground up. Uh, nice. Romeo Bravo Romeo, where are you, Perk? Uh, we're going to the uh, Ottawa Flying Club. Romeo Bravo Romeo, Roger. Can you all the way down the runway, exit right at Lima, contact ground 1219. Down the runway the to uh, Lima and then uh, right contact ground for Romeo Bravo Romeo. Yeah, Lima's right at the end of the runway on the right. So uh, we just landed at the uh, Ottawa International. Now we're set down at the Ottawa Flying Club, one of the older flying clubs in Canada, I believe. And uh, Matt's gone off on the bicycle. Hopefully he's all right. He doesn't bike a lot, that guy. He's gone off on the bicycle to find the rental car. And I'm tasked with unloading the airplane. So it's kind of nice to not have to be the guy that does the logistics for once. Matt's got to get the car. and. Um, yeah, I just get to chill out and hang out with airplane guys and unload the plane. Hey guys. How are you? Good, how are you? Looking good. Thanks. Uh, you know, my mom and I, she usually texts me, texts me every day, good morning. Aww. Yeah, I, I got a good relationship with my mom. That's what she said today. She said good afternoon. And I said, hello. I said, I'm up in Ottawa for the day. And she goes, oh, wow, you get around. Well, you know somebody with an airplane. Yeah. <clears throat> she, as much as she doesn't want to admit it, though, she is nervous about me working on my pilot's license, though. Oh, yeah? I'm nervous about it, too. What are you doing, pink shorts? I'm building the drone up right now. And, uh, a little bit of dust on the lens. Your trusty poofter. Air, air blower. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> Township of Russell in Ontario. Uh, so doing some corporate video work for them today. We've 
wisely chose to do this on a weekend. It's an industrial park. There's literally nobody around anywhere. We have the place to ourselves. There's also we, lots of construction happening too, so there's no, no worry about construction workers and stuff. Exactly. We got the place to ourselves. No construction. No no. With a drone, one of the big rules that we need to follow is we can't overfly uh, the people or public, putting them in danger. So here, we, there's nobody around, so we can, we'll be able to fly a larger perimeter on each of our passes. Um, got some guy horsing around on a motorbike, but apart from that, we got the place to ourselves. Um, yeah, so we're just getting ready to launch for the first time, and it shouldn't take us long. I'll bet you, I'll bet you we're going to be an hour max doing this actual job here on the ground. And then uh, the rest of it will be flying here and flying here and flying back again. So most of the most of the work today is actually transport. But uh, yeah, now we got to do the heavy lifting with the drone, get a few shots, and then uh, back to Starbucks. And then we'll head home. So yeah, quick flight around this building. You pre-flighted the drone. I had a quick look at it. There's nobody around except for Mr. Motorcycle Guy, and he's wearing a helmet, so he doesn't count. Oop! <laughs> Did I say that? All right, drone's going up, watch yourselves. Four for four, clear to launch. Gear's going up. So I'm gonna do a <coughs> counterclockwise orbit around this building. That's all right, let me know when you're rolling. Drone safe. This really is nice country out here. I think we should actually maybe just do a couple little circles of the of Russell and Embrin. And uh, oh, with the plane on the way out. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a look might, at that it. That might be a good idea. Sure. Yeah, we'll come and look at it from a little higher. We we're at 400 feet for the drone passes because 400 feet is our legal legal altitude limit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to see what this place looks like a little higher up. What's What's really cool is. Um, there's actually a bike path that runs between Russell and Embrin. Oh yeah. That's uh, just a little south of uh, where we uh, where we were shooting. So yeah, maybe we can shoot that. We can get a better lay of the land. Like we see the world from the drone's perspective, zero to 400 feet. We see the world from the airplane perspective, zero to 14, 16,000 feet. Um, they're very different. I mean, it's a similar view, it's an aerial view, but they're, they're very different. Each has its, its benefits and, and weaknesses, depending on what you're, what you're trying to do. If you're trying to take pictures, do video, whatever it is, um, sometimes the wide perspective is good. Drones have obviously taken over huge for low level coverage where people want to see details 
like you were saying, these guys, you've been the lead on this one. This client has been, uh, what did they have? They had a satellite, some satellite imagery? Yeah, so I mean, like like any township, uh, for their planning and development purposes, they uh, they rely on a lot of GIS and satellite imagery. But, um, you know, it doesn't really work as well. It's not as effective in like a presentation when you're trying to show other municipalities what you're doing, right? So, you know, what better way to give an over a high quality overview of the big picture than some good drone stuff, right? So. And I'll tell you, I'm not usually that impressed with these sort of, you know, these uh, more industrial videos. Like I like doing them, it's part of our, it's what we do. Yeah. Right now there's a writer strike and an actor strike. We're doing all the work, any work we can get. We're not saying no to anything. Um, usually these aren't my favorite jobs, but I'll tell you, I actually enjoyed today because well, one, we got to fly there. That always makes me happy. But two, it was actually quite a pretty industrial site if there is such a thing. Mm -hmm. Like you said, all their buildings, uh, you said they've been requirement is to make their buildings look a little more pretty. They're not just the cheapest fabrications possible. Yeah. Um, it seems like they've put a little bit of forethought into the design of the whole layout of the place. It looked really good from the air and I think this place is going to look amazing when it's all built up and it's yeah. and the grass grows in and all the industrial scars of development grow over. This place is going to look fantastic. And I mean, what better way to show the process as it goes along? When's the last time you shot here? It was two years uh, ago? No, it was exactly a year ago actually. Okay, so you shot a year ago when they were starting the build or some of the projects were a yeah. little less developed now that you said there's way more stuff. So now we're showing it more built up. Maybe they'll have yeah. us back in another year or two showing it nearly finished. Yeah, because like they, they just keep expanding the lands. Like I guess the, the township is acquiring the lands and then selling it to developers. So I mean they're just they're just gonna keep building building west and, and expanding. It's great. And what we're giving them we're not giving it to them, we're selling it to them, but it's such a valuable tool that yeah. they get having a drone video that shows where they're at, what they're planning, shows it from the air. It gives people that that high and wide perspective, that overview perspective of a, of a project like nothing else before it has done. Drones do that so amazingly well. They're worth their weight in gold as far as the perspectives that towns, you know, people that are trying to sell projects and buildings, things to people. It, it just, it's amazing. It's spectacular. Yeah. Awesome. It's awesome. We love it. And I, I mean, I, I think like the Inspire 3 was the right tool for the job as well because, I mean, we could get everything from super high and wide with an 18mm lens on a full frame sensor to really nice, sweet, sexy parallax shots with a with a close to telephoto lens. You know what I mean? Like showing between the buildings, getting some like... This thing is cut out. It's full. No, it can't be full. It holds like 15 hours. Okay, I'll well, stop. It's rolling again. Sorry, it's not rolling. Not red. Oh, red. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can show everything from... The Inspire 3 was the right tool for the job, really, because we can show everything from a super high and wide shot with an 18mm lens and a full-frame sensor to really nice parallax cinematic shots, like, you know, buildings in the foreground, buildings in the background, cranes in the foreground with a, with a close-to-telephoto lens. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it's... And how great. long were we on site for, like, from... And when we left the Starbucks, we stopped yeah. at Starbucks, which was in town, we, like an hour and a half? We were literally on site for an hour and a half. An yeah. hour and a half. So flew four sets of batteries, yeah. grabbed grabbed a stills pass with the drone, video pass with the drone. Shot stills on the ground. Yeah. Like they're getting, getting a ton. That's the thing with the drone, you can do so much so quick. Again, I said it earlier, I said it a few times today, it would have taken us, the logistics of today would have taken us way, way longer get here, do all our stuff. If we would have flown here on a on commercial, it would have been a nightmare. We would have driven here, we, would, we wouldn't even be here wow. yet. I don't even, can you even get a commercial flight to Ottawa? Oh yeah, you like can. Like quarter, like yeah. a quarter, quarter go to Toronto. Ottawa. It would have cost us more for the excess baggage and the tickets and, yeah. and all that stuff. Plus we'd have to get to City Centre Airport. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we would have flown there. That would have been we would have flown to City Centre Airport and hopped on a porter plane. That would have made no sense. So, yeah, anyway. That's an inefficient use of an airplane. Very inefficient. Preaching to the choir here, but yeah, it was so far the mission's gone great. Now we need to uh, get launched out of uh, Ottawa International Airport. Now, circuit breakers 9, 13, 13, 9. Fuel tank to engine quantity, we got to increase it by 40 gallons when we get a chance. Cow flaps, putting them up.
Clear rip.